Hey, it's Hunt. You found Hunt on Saints. We're talking black and gold football. Do us a favor. Hit the like button, share your comments below, and hit that subscription button so you can get all of our content. Enjoy. Let's talk about the New Orleans Saints here. Uh, as some news breaking earlier today, the Saints have declined the fifth-year option on former first-round pick Peyton Turner. Now, this should come as no surprise to anyone because Peyton Turner never plays any football. Um, it's not necessarily his fault. He's just not able to stay healthy ever. The Saints used a late first-round selection on him in the 2021 draft, and he came in and was only able to play five games as a rookie. He had one sack that year and made 12 total tackles. Came back the following year in 2022 and played eight games, about half the season for Peyton Turner. Two sacks, 16 combined tackles. And then last year played the first game of the year. Good start. Played the last game of the year. That's good that you stayed healthy. Oh, no, you didn't stay healthy. You didn't play any of the games between the first game and the last game. It's just been one injury after the next, after the next, after the next for Peyton Turner. And declining this option is an absolute no-brainer. I don't think Peyton Turner will take offense to that in any way. I don't think anyone could objectively look at this situation and suggest the Saints would even consider picking up the final option. Now, last year in August, we did hear... Like, you know, Peyton Turner's kind of making some plays at camp. Like, got in the backfield, got a couple of sacks. Like, maybe Penning's not that great, but, like, he's, I mean, he's doing okay. This is kind of the guy they thought they drafted. Then he played in the first game, and then he didn't play again for three months. And so that's just the situation where things are. And as you look at the 2024 New Orleans Saints, you've got Cam Jordan on one end. You got Carl Granderson on the other end. You have signed Chase Young to play for a year. You've got Tano Passanio as well. Isaiah Foskey was a second round pick. And you toss Peyton Turner in. And that's basically your sixth man depth chart on the edges of your defense. Take it or leave it. That's what it is. But if you've been listening to me for the last month and a half, you have heard me say the same thing over and over and over again. And guess what? I'm going to say it again today. This decision, as obvious as it might be, once again does not harm the 2025 or 2026 Saints. I am always, when I'm dealing with the Saints in this offseason, considering the next really good Saints team. Peyton Turner is not on that team, and I don't want any of his money being tied up while I'm trying to create this team. So, you're at a situation where if Peyton Turner goes out there this year and he plays in 17 games and he has 11 sacks and he becomes a second-team All-Pro, well, he's a free agent. If you want to sign him, you can do that. You can get in line with everybody else, but you can do that. But to this point, I'm not in any situation to tie up any money beyond this coming football season with Peyton Turner. And that's a very, very obvious thing. And as I look at this group for this coming season, if we're just talking about the 2024 Saints, because you can't get in my headspace, you bleed black and gold, you love the New Orleans Saints, and you want them to win the Super Bowl this year. I'm not telling you not to think that way. And so we'll humor that thought by looking at what they've got on the edge and is what I just mentioned. Cam Jordan is past his prime. Can he play a little bit better than he did last year? Maybe. I doubt it, but maybe. Could Chase Young have an eight, nine-sack season? Absolutely. Could Carl Granderson have a 10-sack season? Absolutely. Would I bet on it? Eh, maybe with Granderson, not necessarily with Young. Got to see what he looks like in camp after missing all that time with the neck injury. And what is Isaiah Vosky? I don't know. I'm willing to take a look at him in camp, in the preseason, and we'll see where things stand. But you've got plenty of numbers here. You've got some pros, you've got some vets, and you've got at least one guy in Granderson that you feel like has his best football in front of him. But you don't do anything to mortgage your future with Peyton Turner, and you hope all of a sudden that he turns it on this year to help the 2024 Saints, and then it's likely, well, we missed on that one. This entire thing, decision after decision, as obvious again as this was, is satisfying to me as I analyze the moves of the New Orleans Saints and it signals a shift in what they're looking at as a franchise.
we've so often seen contracts extended past where they need to be so you can move money off the books into later years and convert it into signing bonus and manipulate the cap and do all those kinds of things. And this year, we just haven't seen that. One-year deal here, one-year deal there. Keep the deal at a year right now. It's, it's all been done looking at 2024 and cutting it off right there. And as difficult as that may be for Dennis Allen, who there are no guarantees he's here after 2024, it's the right thing for the New Orleans Saints. And if you were to ask most of the people that work at this radio station, not that we're all knowing, but our opinions, it may not be a terrible thing if Dennis Allen is not the head coach in 2025 because I don't think he's done a great job over the last couple years. So all of this is refreshing, I think, as an organization. And I had so many negative feelings and thoughts that they would not change, that they would continue to trade up, that they would continue to overreach in terms of years on contracts to have room to spread the money out. And they haven't done that. And so as negative as I've been, really dating back to Halloween of last year, when it looked like all of a sudden in 2024, in 2023, okay, things are going south. And I started speaking negatively about the direction of the organization. That's kind of been my tenor since then. But I've changed over the last two months based on how they've handled the offseason. And you've got to start with roster composition in this league. And the Saints roster right now is composed in a way that makes it very difficult to improve. Old players, big contracts, tough situation in free agency, that's hard to deal with. But they're doing it the only way you can. It's just a slower, more painful process. But they're not kicking the can down the road anymore. The Peyton Turner decision is not necessarily indicative of that because this is just as no-brainer as it gets. But I think that there's reason to believe they can start moving forward in a positive way. Jordan, I've been looking back there. You've kind of been nodding your head, kind of been shaking your head. I mean, how are we feeling as you've turned the pages from the Pels and we start looking at the Saints and the decisions they're making here with the draft and with free agency and with some of the contracts that they've got? How do you feel about where we're sitting? Well, the reason why I was shaking my head and, I, you know, I was I – was, um, I felt you be because it feels like we're in a perpetual cycle at this point. Have been for three years. Exactly. So we're in this cycle, and you just we're, we're dropping the, the you know the fifth year option on Peyton Turner. So now we're kind of back at square one again. You don't have like the Davenport. Tur- I mean, you know the draft 2018. Bad. Terrible. He's gone. Peyton Turner's finna be gone. Bad. Foskey. Who knows? Mm. All right. You know, and, and it's just like... A lot of misses. It's a lot of misses. Makes it hard to deal with. It's a lot of misses. And you're a lot more optimistic than me. Very more optimistic than me because I'm not I'm not giving them my heart again. Y'all, y'all got to prove it. I'm not optimistic about the exact result we're going to see. I'm optimistic about the process that they are starting. Yes, changes. It they're, changes. they're doing things a little bit differently. And it doesn't mean they're going to get it right. And if you keep, like you're talking about, missing on these picks yes. in the first and second round, you'll never get out of it. Never. Because if you can't draft cheap players to start and be really productive for you, you'll never get there. It's not like Major League Baseball where you can be the Yankees and just go sign everybody yeah. for all this money. You have to get young, cheap players in a salary cap sport. And if they keep going Davenport and Peyton Turner and Foskey, trouble. But if you got, as I've said, three starters out of this draft and you think that you've hit on three starters out of the last draft, we can start to talk about making things better. And whether or not Derek Carr is a part of that, whether or not Dennis Allen's a part of that, and, and we'll see. And that's where the my next problem comes with the, the Derek Carr and Dennis Allen little because when you think about it, you bring all these new players in, cheaper players, better con well, cheaper contracts. And you're it's like putting a new alternator in a <laughs> two thousand two Toyota. All right. It's why are we doing this instead of getting a new car? That's why I'm sitting here, yeah, yeah. We're using a used car. We need a new car. So, you know, yeah. Maybe we, Spencer Rattler's a brand new hey, car, baby. A, hey, I'm looking at him. <laughs> I'm looking. He's number 18 if you peep. He's number 18. Peyton Manning. So. Peyton Manning. Peyton I'm going to go ahead and lower the bar a little bit on Mr. Rattler there. But you know, we'll see. Not, uh, not earth-shattering news from New Orleans Saints camp with Peyton Turner's fifth-year option being declined. But. Uh, We'll see as they start to kind of do things a little bit of a different way down there on Airline Drive. Hey, it's Hunt. Thanks for watching Hunt on Saints. Before you leave, help us out a little bit. Hit that like button, leave your comments in the section below, and hit that subscribe button. 
So you get all our content right here from Hunt on Saints. We'll see you next time.